guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how you can make your own website or even design your own app using Hacksaws. Hacksaws is basically a website full of courses for you guys to learn about uh, programming and coding. I don't know the right terminology. It's perfect for people like me who have no idea how to do this stuff. There's a bunch of courses that you can uh, enroll in. There's actually a 14 day trial. You can cancel that anytime. So there's really no risk in doing it. And basically they teach you step by step and they split the courses into sprints, which are basically sections. So you guys can learn one thing at a time. So if you guys could hit that thumbs up button, that would mean a lot, you know, you know, likes being a little bit dry, you know, 500 likes, that'd be great. Hopefully you guys are prepared for back to school in Canada. We have it in two weeks. Anyone in the United States probably started already. I don't know where you are in the world, but uh, good luck with school. Uh, with that being said, let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into beta.hacksaw.academy, not .com. So in case, you know, you type it wrong, it might like put you onto an air page. But here we want to see how it works. Like I, you know, talked about, there's a 14 day free trial. And after completing a project, you can easily go back and make tweaks and share completed work with your friends, coworkers, and even potential employers. Basically what this website will do is help you learn skills like in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and hopefully, you know, help you make something very good. Like me personally, I've always wanted to make a website. I just didn't know how. And I think if I continue you know, using this website past the 14 days, I might be able to uh, just grasp a really good understanding of how to make a website and how to code it and stuff like that by myself. So let's just get into it. Um, you want to press start your free trial. Since I already made account, I can just press login. So, okay, I am logged in. So it says current projects because I did work on it um, prior to this video. There's also other projects that appeared on the uh, like the homepage that you saw. And there's portfolio page, email catcher, to-do list, Um, you know, these random works that I have no idea like what the hell they are. And if you don't either, you probably have the same knowledge as me in terms of this stuff. So I'm just going to press continue here and I'm going to restart it so you guys can like start with me and we can do this together. And basically, if you go back here, it'll show like um, what sprints are. Like I mentioned, they're basically sections that they divide um, the work into. So there's 20, 40, 45, 25 minutes and it shows the uh, approximate um, estimated time that it will take you. So two hours and 10 minutes, I'm not going to make a video for two hours and 10 minutes or even longer. So um, I'll probably do like, I don't know, five, 10% of um, this first sprint. I'm going to press continue here. And basically if you guys are confused here, I was too, like maybe five minutes ago, but here, this is your code preview. So anything you type here will appear in here. So basically this is like a website page or like a landing page. So like if you were to delete this, it would be like destroyed. Another thing I learned is um, HTML has like these brackets, like this triangle bracket, while CSS has like uh, this different bracket. I don't know what it's called. It's just pointy. It's like a, it's like a bracket, but it's pointy. You know what I mean? Also, another thing I learned is basically CSS cannot be done without HTML, something like that. I literally learned that in like the first 10 minutes of this course. So that's just perfect. Um, basically on the right side, there's three sections, JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. I don't know what either stand for. But this is what this course is for. So I'm just gonna get started. And here's the HTML panel. So you type in stuff. So here's the HTML snippet. You can obviously just copy and paste into the HTML you know, section here, but I'm not gonna do that for the first one at least because I wanna do it hands-on. There's really no point because you're trying to learn here. So why not do it yourself and not like copy and paste? So span class equals signed this. So what I learned, like, like I said before, there's this triangle bracket thing. I'm not sure what the proper name is. Maybe you guys can like tell me if you're like cool and you know this stuff. And we're going to do ID equals demo there. So I got it. Boom. This is what an HTML snip bit looks like. And right there, you just added your text. And so basically CSS is like the background. Um, HTML is like the basic stuff. Well, that's like what I learned. It's five minutes. So um, I may be mistaken. So, you know, you guys can fix me here, but here, like you can type in, you can type in like cool, cooler stuff. Like Steven Van is awesome. And it appears just like that. Like I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with that actually. And I'm going to go to next step. And here, what I'm going to do is actually copy and paste. And right there, I have a button, like a, a rectangle of me right there. And if you look at it, um, basically what this CSS is, it's the background, like the color alignment, just like, I guess, details on the HTML, like trying to, I guess, fix the HTML, kind of like optimize it. So here it has a hex color code, I believe that's what it's called. And so this, if you search it up, would be like a color, um, tea green. So the background's tea green. 
And if you search up this, it, it should be like green. Okay, whatever. This shows this is showing like uh batteries for what uh, for whatever but whatever. Here there's also like font weight, so bold. You can choose like the font family. You can also choose like the padding. So how many pixels is it from the top? You can also choose the alignment. So I'm sure there's like different things like horizontal, you know, right side, left side. I'm not sure what the proper term is, but you can change that as well. And if you go on to next step here, I'm gonna copy and paste it again because you know I don't know how to do this stuff. This is the JavaScript, so Basically, if you click on it, it says, congratulations. You know how to use the lesson interface. So what I believe JavaScript is, is basically like these dialogues that, you know, um, pop up and stuff. So interactive content, I guess, like interactive stuff, uh, maybe clicking on a button or clicking on a link or something like that. And right here it says alert. So I guess um, alert means like a notification. You know, I don't know any of this stuff. Um, if I continue using it, I'll, I'll definitely know how to use it. So here we'll now go over some of the basic elements you can use to build your web page. Perfect. These can be uh, used directly in the HTML panel. So basic HTML elements are written in, are written with a start and end tag with this content in between. So that's great to know. I didn't even know that. The start tags start. The, what the start tag takes the form tag name at the end with the same, except it also includes the slash before the name. Like that right there is very confusing to me, but I guess if I continue, you know, it makes more sense and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to end the video right now because I don't want the video to be too long. I'll leave everything you need to know in the description. Hope you guys use this website to your advantage and possibly create your own website or your mobile app or whatever you want. This website is absolutely great for this type of stuff. So if you're interested, a link will be in the description. Hit the thumbs up button to show your support. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,